the uh, kidneys first as that's one of our targets down here in the lower back. Uh, let's get rid of the skin here. I've peeled away some uh, fascia already. As you can see, the fascia is on one side. It's not on the other. We're down to the pure muscle. We're going to peel, peel away the muscle too so we can get into the uh, skeletal structure and the internal organs. Now you can start to see that there's still fascia around. Let me get rid of that fascia there. That's the diaphragmatic fascia. Okay, now we can start to see the organ inside. We can see the seeth of fascia on the outside. Fascia, by the way, is everywhere throughout the body. You can see this organ right in through here, if I can catch it for you. There it is. Um, there's the kidney. Uh, that's another part of the kidney as well. It comes in two sections. So uh, we have uh, the kidney right in through here and our two descriptive uh, sections, I should say. Now we have this rib right here and this little piece of cartilage uh, here, and you have it on the tips of all the ribs actually, and you have the second rib. Now you can see that they're very close to the kidney. Let's get around the front here, if we can get in this way, sneak in from the top here. You can see how close that comes. And uh, let's take a look this way. You got some vascular tissue underneath, and of course, a nerve. Now remember, nerves are in part to protect the body because they sense pain. They can send a message to uh, have a withdrawal reflex and pull away from it. But when it's done quickly uh, with a rapid pulse and or strike, then you're going to be tapping into this nerve right in through here. Um, that's the minor nerve branch. Let's get into the more major nerve. This is the subcoastal nerve. Okay, and uh, you're also going to get this uh, vein right in through here, which is a subcoastal vein, and of course the subcoastal artery. So very dangerous spot in through there, uh, and you have the kidney itself. Let's hide this uh, outer shell of the kidney. You can start to see inside. It's more of an empty type of a um, tissue, and it stores blood and um, cleanses blood and urethra. And let's unhide that for a second, and we can pull back out. All right. Now that is when you jam that. This. Let's get the pen first. Okay. When you take this. Uh, rib here especially, and you push it into the kidney here, that's what's going to cause the pain, especially if you um, come across it and clip onto this um, nerve that's underneath, subcoastal nerve, you're going to cause major pain, dysfunction, and you can cause unconsciousness because um, you're affecting blood, you're affecting the kidney, the organ, and therefore the autonomic nervous system. So that's a shot in the kidney. That's why it's so debilitating. We're only giving it to um, weaken the person, maybe knock them unconscious, but not to hurt them substantially. Now let's take a look at the reticular activating system in the skull region. The reticular activating system is the brain stem, and that has um, systems in there. It releases um, serotonin, and uh, we have our sleep centers in there. So when you activate it quickly, you have all sorts of nerve plexuses around there, which we'll take a look at in a second. Let's get through rid of the connected tissue. Now I've peeled away um, some of the outer layers of the brain stem and the central nervous system in through here, but look at the mer uh, myriad of nerves that are interconnected in there. They're all there. So by stretching neck and head over to the side, especially at this first vertebrae in through here, this is what's going to cause um, the real problems for the person's conscious state of being. So let's go in through here. You have that. Let's get rid of the, the skeleton. Okay, and we can start to see um, the brain stem itself emanating from the brain, that's what we're affecting, and the uh, reticular activating system therein. So that's your myriad of nerves. Look at them all coming out of the brainstem and connected to the brainstem, attached in through there, and the central nervous system as well, and you get an idea of what is going on. So let's get rid of the um, outer coating, the dura, 
of the brain. And let's get rid of this too. Another coating. And we can start to see this is the posterior lobe of the cerebellum. You got another one over here. And you've got the brain stem right tucked inside. Um, this right here is the tonsil of the cerebellum. Let's hide that for a second. Okay, and we can start to see the brain stem itself and pieces thereof. And you can see the pawns here. So you can see all of that information we're going to be able to do with that rapid twisting of the neck and head. And that's why John got uh, very dizzy during this is we were missing not only with all that uh, nerve tissue, but the brain stem itself, also the blood supplies, because now we're starting to alter the uh, flow of blood throughout the major arteries and veins of the neck and the head. And that carries uh, blood and oxygen to the brain. And that's why this is such a devastating attack. Again, to do it completely um, in one section or uh, altogether is going to be difficult, but it gives you a transition. So just in case someone moves a different way, you can go from maybe the kidney shot to the arm trap and spin for a throw or just to get them off balance and off center so they're not thinking about fighting you rather than catching their balance. Or you can use it as a knockout technique by attacking the head and the neck in conjunction with the lever of the shoulder. So that's a little bit more about this technique from Sanchin Tegumi.